So we are uh, searching for an access road to the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency Wildlife Management Area. Oh, thanks, Chase. I got a little crooked. And <clears throat> the TWRA's got these hunting areas over here, and we actually downloaded Onyx, right? Because we've been watching the guys, all like the pro hunters, like the hushing guys, the hunting public, they all use Onyx out west where it's really easy to hunt elk. And it's really hard to hunt squirrels. I thought, man, if they can use that to hunt elk, we could definitely use it to hunt squirrels. And we're looking for an access back here. Um, because the place we just pulled in, we want to actually hunt along the lake, Percy Priest Lake, instead of this dove field. So we're going to keep keep poking around and see if we can find access, which that, that was probably it. We may have found it. In theory, well, I watched on the internet other guys that kill a lot more squirrels than we do. This is, when you do that, you should hear them bark or moving around or something. But, uh, we've not had any luck. So I'm thinking we go straight, straight, Eli. Yep. Straight through here, past this other cornfield, and into them woods. Yeah. Are you into that? Does that look yeah. good for you? I wore my gaiters. You didn't. So. I didn't wear my gaiters. No. Nope. <laughs> should have. Really failed on that. Uh, we're gonna try that. Okay. So, we just got in the woods here. The TWRA's got this corn planted, and you can see where. Do you think it's got to be a raccoon, right? Eli bringing these in here. Uh, man, I don't know. I mean, I would think that or a possum. And deer. Possum. Deer. I don't think a deer would bring a whole. They won't eat it like this. Raccoons have thumbs, right? No, I'm serious. I think a raccoon has a thumb. Okay. Yeah. Squirrels have thumbs? Yeah, if you look at their actual paw prints, you've got them. You know, if you have a thumb, you can wipe your ass. It's like the requirement. You can do a couple uh, <laughs> Eli says this looks pretty squirrely. We've come to the creek. I'm not wading across the creek. So. Hard pass. Hard pass. Do you see one? No. These trees just look like they ought to be there, though. Yeah, we'll light off our squirrel call. Yeah, there should be. Yep. Is there a beaver dam? We're we'll gonna look the beaver dam. Yeah, the beavers have definitely big, big spider web. Big, big spider web. The beavers have definitely put a dam in. We see all kinds of wildlife out here. Hmm. Well, we're having a really nice hike in the woods with guns. You broke your stick. Eli brought his binoculars. Eli, what kind of binoculars are those? These are the uh, Leopold uh, BX1s. You're a Leopold guy then. Oh yeah. Leopold guy for sure. You... Leopold uh, supports the vet. Uh, if you're a disabled vet, you can uh, apply on uh, Leopold and you can get up to 50% off. So, little uh, little uh, tidbit of knowledge there. For those of you disabled vets that don't know that. Coming from the bomb guy himself. That's right. 
Do you know that I've been trying to figure out how to legally make a hand grenade and you cannot do it? Remember, we've tried before. We tried down a D lab. That's true. But we have to have a magazine. Eli, do you like those binoculars? I do. I love these binoculars, man. Do you see any squirrels? I do not see any squirrels. Not yet. I'm optimistic. <clears throat> We've, we're representing all the camo brands today. That's right. <laughs> Man, I forgot my waders. What kind of boots are those? These are Merrells. Mm. Um, these are uh, super comfortable boots. Waterproof, Vortex, Vibrant Soles, all that fun stuff. I feel like this is one of the deals we know there's squirrels here. Mm -hmm. We just can't find them. Yeah, I don't know where they're at. There's nuts everywhere, squirrel nest everywhere. We marked it on our, we marked it on our, uh, on it, so we can come back in the fall. This is more like an early season scout. Oh, yeah. Because it's wet. I knew it was going to be wet and we wouldn't be able to hear There's them. another squirrel nest right over there. Yeah, is there? Yeah. yeah. I see it right there. So we can't hear the damn things. Um, we need a dog, a squirrel dog. I'm going to leave that up to you. You think we could turn your French like bulldog French in? French bulldog that we could turn into a... Squirrel dog. dog. <laughs> mm. He'd be into it, too. No luck yet today. The mullet's coming in nice, though. It is, it is luscious. That's cool. He goes right in the stock. Well, uh, it's second day, and we're done. It's, uh, man, it's hot. It is stuffy. It's Human. stuffy. Yeah, I couldn't imagine wearing that. You must be sweating. A bit, but yeah, this crib tech shirt's pretty a cool. Off a little skin, uh, yeah. It's got like vents in the back, and it feels good. But I'm still, it's still hot and humid outside, especially hunting along this creek. Uh, second day of squirrel season, Tennessee. It's August 23rd, and we did not get a squirrel. We heard the squirrel it's on the other side of the creek, though. So it's better than yesterday. We heard a squirrel, and you know, it's always like I said yesterday. It's always disappointing when you. You hike so far in the woods and you don't get one. But we're going to try again tomorrow. We're going to go down to Columbia, Tennessee. We're hunting every day. And uh, we've got a guy, a professional uh, videographer coming to document tomorrow's hunt. So I'm really excited about that. And, uh, man, tomorrow may be better tomorrow and we'll have squirrel to eat. And we didn't have any today. No tacos today. We're SOL today. So uh, as all... All squirrel hunters do. I've got brunch in Nashville, so we're going to hammer down that way. Are you excited? We're going to make squirrel brain.